It all begins with a gathering of select top executives from Nigeria's corporate world. The venue is the British Deputy High Commissioner's residence in Lagos, perhaps the most appropriate setting for the British Deputy High Commissioner, Ray Carls, to Nigeria to solicit support for the Chivnin Scholarship Program of the British government. <laughs> and then the scene changes to a more formal one as the British Deputy High Commissioner, Mr. Ray Carls, sets the tone for the event. My task uh, tonight is to persuade you that becoming involved as a Chivnin partner is a worthwhile thing for your company and that such an investment would reap benefits for your organization through, through this, as I say, this kind of association. The Chivnin Scholarship Program also aims to build a vibrant alumni network of contacts that can wield a positive influence on governance. I think potentially it will help us to address the gap that we do see, obviously, in the senior level manpower that this economy richly deserves. As beneficiaries give eloquent testimonies of the impact of the program in promoting values in both individual lives and the nation, another Chivlin alumnus, who is also the chairman and chief executive officer of Channels Television, Mr. John Momo, shares how the program completely changed his worldview. On a personal note, I remain grateful to the British government for the time I spent studying in the UK. My time at the Thompson Foundation, by extension, the University College of uh, uh, Cardiff in Wales, inspired me to develop aspirations in television broadcasting, which has resulted into the success story it is today. Well, at the risk of sounding a modest, just take a look at channels. <laughs> Nine time winner as best television station of the year in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 14 times nominated as best television station and nominated and crowned Africa's best TV station last year. Other beneficiaries of the Chivnin program also share their experiences. This is a program that is developing people and because it's developing them from where they are to a bigger level to a higher level. You can imagine the return it will bring back into our economy. I think one of the biggest challenges is making sure that those people do come back to Nigeria and do have the opportunities to use their skills. Given all that has been revealed here, it can be said with certainty that the Chivnin Fellowship Program has remarkably attained the goals it was set up to achieve. That is, producing individuals that are making positive impact on governance and tackling contemporary social political and economic challenges in their society.